nervous about going in there and talking to Howard? Not that I'm using mess. If I want to be nervous. <laughs> and you're all like caved over. You're like, you're like crawling into a little ball. We all do that. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter with you? We're yeah, all right. so, so you don't see my double chin on television. It's <laughs> just the roof of you. Know, like three feet high. <laughs> all right, I don't function terribly well right after I wake up. So I'm like sitting here and just like having an intravenous tea pumped into my veins here and trying to get it going. Maybe the world's greatest rock and roll band is Metallica. I can't think of a better one. And we are certainly honored to have Lars here, who is the drummer from Metallica. I'm very psyched up to meet him in person. I met him once, and I uh, it didn't go so well. <laughs> but that was at the MTV Awards, which I feel uh, profoundly embarrassed about that I... Are you? Well, yeah, because they're such a great band, and I kind of dissed them, and I didn't know what I was doing. It was a bad, it was a bad scene all around. Out of your head. Yeah. I mean, look at you. There you are, man. Look at that. Wow. He cut off his hair. Yeah, well, the whole band cut off their hair, collectively. How you doing, Lars? Good, man. How are you? Hey. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Actually, the first time I met you, didn't go well. I was just telling everybody. Oh. It was, it, well, I bring up a bad memory, but it was, it was so years ago. So long ago, I can't remember. I know. It was when I was fart man at the MTV Awards. And, you know, I'll admit, I, I just How didn't. How did you know they were going to win? First of all, Cause I we was there. Yeah, I was all shook up anyway that night because, of course, I was, you know, dressed as fart man and I was coming down off a 40 foot ceiling right. on wires. That was and, a pretty grand entrance there. Yeah, and I felt like a real asswipe coming down there. And it was real embarrassing anyway, you know, because my ass cheeks aren't the most beautiful. Right. And plus, plus, you were hanging out with uh, Luke Perry. Well, yeah, yeah, we Luke Perry. That. Yeah, who cares about him anyway? Right? <laughs> Yesterday's news. So uh, anyway, oh wow, is that your girlfriend? Ooh. Excellent. Ooh, oh, wow. is that your girlfriend? Ooh. Hey now, who oh. is that? They let her in here. Wow, um, is, she, is that really your girlfriend? That's Skylar. Say hi to Skylar. Skylar, man, is she hot? Look at that, man. I gotta, I gotta get. Are you you're single, right? Yeah. Well. Super. <laughs> yeah. Well. Hey, Skylar, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right. Is there a microphone there, or is yeah. it just like a mic? She's going to talk into a wall. <laughs> well, how come it doesn't That's work? That's what she does with me every day. <laughs> Let me see. Is that, is that on now? Yeah, yeah, now it is. Wow, you're hot. I'd like to go out with you after, uh, you know, after you're after, done with after, Lars. After she dumps me? <laughs> yeah. After she gets rid of you. Right, later this afternoon. I don't think too many girls dump you, man, especially being a drummer in Metallica. I mean, that's got to be cool when you bring your girlfriend to your gig. You know what I mean? Like, do you get completely nuts when you see him out there playing the drums and everything? <laughs> Um, a little bit. No, yeah. not that much, modest. really. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't bother her. Yoko Ono used to say she didn't know who John Lennon was. Hey, hey, you want to hear the story? Yeah. When she met me, she had no idea who Metallica was. Yeah. Well, that's what happened to me at the uh, Fartman thing. Yeah, but this thing. is six months ago. This is not 15 years ago. Really? You're kidding. <laughs> don't believe her, by the way. That's A, a lot of women say that kind of stuff, Lars. I hate to... T don't be naive. <laughs> well, all her friends were backing her up, so, you know. So how did you meet? Um, Go ahead. At a concert, no. No, 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 no. no. What's the name of that joint down there? Cafe Tabac. Cafe yeah. Tabac. And what happened? You just went over and picked her up? Her friend introduced us. Really? Yeah, I was too modest to go over and pick her up. Right. I was waiting for her to notice me. Yeah, and right. Was, and she, go, hey, there's Lars from right, Metallica. Right. Yeah, that's how it usually so like, works. Usually, I was like <laughs> chasing her around the room for about an hour, trying to like look all cool and stand like a couple feet away, and she's just blanking me the whole I say night. She, I say, this is between you and me. I hope you're not listening over there. I say she knew who you were. I say, I got, I got two words for you. Lie detector test. Oh, come on now. <laughs> That's I'd like to submit you to a lie detector. Oh, you never heard of Metallica? No. Oh, come on. I don't like heavy metal, really. Really? Hard rock. Hard rock, excuse me. Yeah. yeah. I tell her we can't be called heavy metal anymore. Well, you know what? I'll tell you something about Metallica. <laughs> Metallica is sort of in its own league. It's not It's not really heavy metal or hard. It's just sort of its own sound, if you want my opinion on music. And I certainly have a lot of opinions on Metallica. But you, uh, when I first met Lars... It's not that I didn't know who Metallica was. I just I wasn't that exposed to the music, and I came down and everything. And then while Lars was getting his MTV <laughs> award, which is a big deal for you guys, because you guys had really struggled and everything, and now you were getting recognition. But I'm are you telling me that they tell you that you're going to get the award before you get there? Yeah, they do. No, I'm not telling you that. Yes, right. they do. Uh, I'm, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm, tell I'm telling you when you get invited to sort of go and hang there and yeah. present there and stuff like that, you have a good idea that maybe. <laughs> yeah. But they would they would never go on 
record at ever telling you that. Can I uh, say something? I was there, and they gave me the envelopes ahead of time, and I know that they knew they were going to win, so it was all no big right, deal. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's how they get bands to show up. No one wants to go there and sit there like a loser. You know what I mean? Anyone who goes here is virtually assured an award. But anyway, but, but Metallica had never won an award at the MTV. It was like, you know, it was a real happening thing for them. They put out that, uh, which video did you put out from? Uh, Sandman. Yeah, Sandman. No, I think it was before Sandman. You it won was before Sandman. It was? Yeah. So they were winning an MTV Music Award, and I come down as Fart Man, which kind of like got the whole place on fire. <laughs> and Lars is trying to make a very serious acceptance yes. speech. You know, the whole band was trying You're to say, still hey. standing there. And it was, a, it was a very sincere speech. It was like, hey, man, to our fans right. who have supported us all along, we, you know, we really worked our ass off for this, and the fact that we're getting some mainstream recognition is really nice for us, because it, it, it never hurts to get that kind of thing, and we want to thank all our fans. Now, in the middle of them saying this, I have my ass cheeks spread, uh, yeah. and I'm, I'm just, like... I'm glad that you're bringing this up, yeah, okay? Yeah. This is the first time I've heard you talk about this, yeah. okay? I mean, it was, a total, it was totally wrong. I mean, I was spreading... I think while Lawrence was speaking, you were still bending over and pretending yeah. to blast Yeah, I was, I was bending over, and, and I was wearing such a thin thong that my entire sphincter was oh. opened up for all to see. Now... Under normal circumstance, I think Metallica and, and would... let's not forget the fact that it's also pretty hairy back there. Oh, hairy and pimply and cellulite ridden. <laughs> Still want a date? Anyway, uh, it was just, you know, it was my whole cottage cheese ass in full view. So the audience was going wild. I mean, they were screaming and yelling. And, like, yeah. you know, Metallica was trying to be good about it. They said, hey, wait a second. You know, this is our moment. Right. We waited a moment to... in the spot. Well, right. I mean, it was an exciting moment for you guys, and I ruined it. So I got backstage, and I was like... Well, wait, how are... How are you're comping to this? Yeah. It's oh, amazing. absolutely. Wow. I'm absolutely comping so to it. I've waited four years for this. Is amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. It's worth getting out of bed at seven. For I absolutely <laughs> ruined the moment. I absolutely <laughs> ruined the moment. But you know me, my ego. I got out there, and I was not going to be. You know, I, I have to have the center. I have to be the center of attention at all times. I, I know what that's about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this. I, I mean, I'm, I do, I'm right behind you. <laughs> I'm, exactly. I'm here to tell you, Lars, that if it was the same exact circumstance again, I'd do the same goddamn thing again. Even as much as I like you guys, I would still have to spread my ass cheeks while you were giving an acceptance speech. So I, you know, I got carried but, away. I got really into the moment. So then, you know... But then this time I'd be prepared for it. And meanwhile, <laughs> so I was still attached to the wires. And those guys had said to me, listen, if uh, time permits and everything's right, if you turn around the proper way and you don't get twisted up, we'll pull you off well, after, yeah, after yeah. the band... Someone makes haywire it, there. Well, what, ha what happened haywire? You, you pushed me. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah. So ah. Lars was so pissed off at me, he went, hey, you big goofy guy. And anyway, he pushed me. My wires got tangled. And I said, well, that's all right. I'm almost off the stage. Nothing will happen. They all of a sudden started pulling me up. And the, the wires are twisting. Wires. And my thumb almost got caught in the wires and almost got yanked off. And then it was like... And then we went backstage, and I saw Lars, and then he kicked me in my ass. Well, say, you, yeah. <laughs> you know how on MTV they've been running, the last couple of weeks they've been running those MTV Awards moments, you know, yeah. from previous ones. Maybe they'll dig one out of the vault. Oh, one. they dig that out. They, they, they've they, shown they, that many times. <laughs> yeah, it's always funny. It's, uh, it was a combination nightmare and moment of euphoria for me. And, you know, Metallica uh, at the time probably didn't appreciate it that much. And, well, it was a nightmare for them, too. Yeah, but anyway, uh, since then, survived, yeah. I became a huge fan of the bands, and, yeah. and I've always yeah. felt kind of guilty because had I known how great this band was, I would have just sat there quietly observing and, and being reverential. Sure. I would have been. I think I would have been anyway. You know? So it's always been a source of embarrassment. How you doing? All right? I'm good, yeah. I'm yeah. getting it together. I'm not, not... Obviously, look at your girlfriend. <laughs> I was more talking about functioning at 7 in the morning, but I'm... Talk I'm about, um, like, how uh, real the band was, like, in the beginning when you guys were first starting out. Didn't you guys sleep together in a car and stuff as you traveled around the country? <laughs> Among other places. Isn't that true? Um, pretty much, yeah. U-Haul truck. We were... Um, it was 83, and we were touring the country in a U-Haul truck. <laughs> And uh, we didn't have money for hotel rooms, so we had, like, mattresses and stuff in the back of the U-Haul truck. And isn't it true that somehow, like, this is what I heard, that the record companies were sort of pressuring you to, like, you know, I don't know, maybe change your sound a little bit and do some things that were a little more mainstream, and you guys said, screw that, and then you um, just released your own records and uh, sold them out of the back of a truck? Yeah, I mean, what was going on at the time was all the L.A. stuff, all the, you know, Rat and Poison and yeah. all those, like, Motley Crue was just starting, and there we were in L.A. playing all the same clubs, opening up for these bands, right. not giving a beep, of course, and right. just going up there in our jeans and our T-shirts. This is 1982. Yeah, you, you know? guys didn't really look like rock stars. Ah, uh, that's an understatement. <laughs> right, yeah. And so we're going up there playing all this, you know, punk-influenced, like, really super obnoxious metal stuff from England. And, and you weren't and, wearing spandex or anything no, like that, yeah. And we just looked, like you said, like crap. And, right. and opening for these bands, and it was just like, what the hell is this band doing here? But we kind of got like a big, there was a lot of people that weren't as into 
into that underground L- uh, the LA stuff as 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 we thought, and they just started following the band and started buying our tapes. Metallica's sound was so different that probably the pressure was to change and sort of be like a rat or you know like one yeah, of those that bands. Yeah, sounds Jesus. like they wanted them to dress different. Yeah, and wanted them to even put on a little spandex oh, and clean oh, up the look. Oh. But you guys never you guys Cur- never broke down and stuck to no, your guns, and then the whole thing worked out. Uh, currently residing in the Where Are They Now department. Yeah, because exactly, because <laughs> Robin and I would have worn, worn spandex if it meant a good record <laughs> type. <laughs> we would we would have gone for it. Yeah, why not? Right. Yeah, make me a star. Right. <laughs> so during the whole making of my movie, man, I just took all your CDs and stuff, right. stuck them in there, and I got all pumped up and charged up from it, and then I just go out and do a scene. That's the way it works. Well, sounds like it would work. Yeah. Sorry just, that we couldn't make it by, by the way. They called us up a couple months ago and said, you guys want to come and hang out and do be part of, I guess, some on set, the set yeah. TV thing, yeah. right? the recreation of that. Yeah, you it was know, a good scene. You yeah, should have been in that. I know. Lollapalooza stuff. What do you guys do, though? You always bring chicks back after the show. I mean, not, not, that, not that you have Skylar now, but... <laughs> Skylar, wow. I dig that name. That's your real name? Yes. God damn. <laughs> I would like to date you myself. She's rather tall for you, too. Don't you yeah. think? Hey, you know. She it's powers a stat- over you. It's a status symbol going out with a taller woman. Yeah. You know? I've yet to find one that's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard. I, you know, some guys have this thing. They get the biggest car they can. Why right. not the tallest one? <laughs> when you're in bed with that's Lars, why. you're like, oh my God, I'm in bed with Lars from Metallica? Oh, totally. Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, it's got to make... And your lifestyle has to be wild. You get on the plane... Do you, what do you do for a living? Do you have a, a, a career? A gig? Yeah, I'm in medical school. Real? Oh, she's whoa. gonna be a surgeon, man. No kidding. That's why I hang out with her. So when I, I'm a washed up rock star in a few years, he's gonna take care of me. I dig smart broads. <laughs> I love that. I love smart women. I always fall in love with smart women. You're gonna be in medical you're in medical school? Yes. What medical school you go to? Columbia. Whoa. No kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Like uh could you do you think I need a nose job? <laughs> What kind oh, of medicine we'll are you going You know what there. you want to be? A proctologist. Oh. Then you get to like mess around with guys' butts. And oh, that's oh, that's oh, really please, great. Please. And that'd be great every day. What know? do you want to be? Oh, that's pretty good that you're with like a smart woman. That's like something different, right? Because like you could always get like tons of bims. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, He's right. been there, done that. You wow. Know? This could be love. Totally. It is love. Yeah, because you don't really need him for his money. You're gonna have tons of money of your own. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. like oh, maybe. Oh come on! You're and also that works. Money and that also works in the other direction. Doctor, best doctor will make two, three hundred thousand a year. And that also works in the other direction. You know. You know what Lars is worth? Want, want me to give you a hint? Have you ever thought about what his net worth is? I've thought about it, but I have no idea really. Let me. Want me to give you an idea? Yeah. Please. I would say 80 million is a conservative estimate. Oh, okay. That's very conservative. Because don't forget, man, they're, they're on. These guys <laughs> just tour money alone. Screw the record business. Oh, that's after tax. You're worth a goddamn 80 million dollars. <laughs> you got a huge place, don't you? And you deserve it. You did, why does it? You beat the odds. What are the odds of becoming <laughs> yeah, a great man? You lived a pretty sad right. life for a while. Do you go, like to get on the private jet and everything? Sure. With yeah. the band? Uh-huh. Oh, Jesus, that's got to be a great aphrodisiac. <laughs> Yeah, Having cool. sex on the private jet. Th- that's how you get a doctor, oh, Howard. That must have been with somebody else then. Did you, uh, did, you, uh, did you hold out a long time before you gave yourself to Lars? Or did you like, if I was a girl, I'd spread immediately for Lars. In fact, I might but spread for Lars bimbo. now. I'm a bimbo, though. I'm a whore. If Lars asked yeah, me to Lars. spread, I'd have to spread because he plays the drum so goddamn well. It's very sexy when a man does his job well, isn't it? Absolutely. It is. Yes, it is. Mm. Mm-hmm. So did you wait like a long time because you're smart and everything and like you're going to make him wait? I don't know. Did you do this? I don't know. I don't know, Lars. I don't know. I mean, What makes you think that we've even been there yet? Oh, please. <laughs> I mean, you're only so patient. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't believe you're a doctor. I mean, and every and like you Plus must be he's the a medical student. Don't yeah. be offended by that, but you must be the biggest piece of ass in the medical school. Oh, you know what I mean? Geez. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like all the other like medical students must be like, wow, I can't believe she's a doctor and she's a piece of ass. Oh God, well I hope not. Mm. Do you ever bring? Does Lars ever pick you up from medical class and stuff? Well, he sent a limo one time, a stretch limo, and I almost died of embarrassment. Oh, that is like, great. Yeah, it's real embarrassing. I don't think we need to talk more about Yeah, that's it. real embarrassing. Did you didn't she? Yeah, did you get in the limo? Of course I did. Yeah, she right. She got in the front with a driver. Yeah, real embarrassing. <laughs> Send the limo for me, see if I'm embarrassed. No N- kidding. Now we're down to town cars, you know. Isn't it great to, to like be able to, like, to romance a woman in the proper way? Of course, man. Yeah, man. God damn, did you bring him home to the parents yet? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. mom, dad. How long have you two known? My new each boyfriend's other? worth about eighty million. Here he is. His name's Lars. Okay. Forget medical school. Huh? Yeah. How long have they known each other? Six months. Is it six months? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I know everything about them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that is, we sent a little memo in before we came in. I love romance. <laughs> so, so you brought him home and like, did you ever bring him to a concert? 
to see him in concert? Oh, no. You've no. got to do that. They You're... would be kind of blown away. I don't know if they could handle that. Lollapalooza was like about a safe two hours away from where they live. So it's like it's not worth the drive, guys, to come all the way up here. How cool is Lollapalooza this year? Very good, right? <laughs> a lot of good Better bands. than it's been before. Yeah, I'd say. Why he is says Perry modestly. Farrell so upset? Because Perry Farrell's a pussy. He says what he's into all deal? different types of music, but all of a sudden now and he's all upset. All of a sudden he's yeah. upset with Lollapalooza. But you know, he's just using us as a scapegoat. I mean, he's been trying to buy his way out of it for the last couple of years. He was really... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, yeah, what's with your girlfriend, that was man? Skyler. Hey, you're going to be a doctor. <laughs> well, so what kind of doctor is she going to be? Orthopedic. Oh, with the kids? No. 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 Orthopedic is bones, Feet? you dodo. Oh, bones. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, when all my joints start aching and yeah. fall apart from playing too much, you'll take care of me. Really? That'd be good. It's a good investment. What year of medical school are you in? Fourth. Really? Mm -hmm. God, almost she's almost down. a doctor. I know she is. Yeah, but is she going to really be able to concentrate on uh, being like an intern and stuff and putting yeah. all those hours when she knows she could lose you if she's not around you enough? No. How are you going to bear up with that kind of pressure? You don't want to lose him. Like, this is a major catch. <laughs> How often are you going to get a rock star? Yeah, I don't know. He's going to have to move to New York, I think. Mm. <laughs> so you will examine people's bones? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's surgery actually. Really? Wait till you see. Surgery. I have a bone, but it's not very big. It's so small. I wish you could cure that, man. How do you make that's, bones that's, grow that's not bigger? The kind of doctor she's gonna. <laughs> really? How do you? If I wanted a certain bone in my body to grow, <laughs> how do you make that happen, Lars? It's over, Johnny. If it's I knew how to do that, I'd be a millionaire right Excuse now. Excuse me really? while I have some of your fruit here, okay? Hey, what's the story? Um, wasn't there an original bass player that died in the band? Yeah, actually, it's ten years ago. Um, in about four weeks. And wasn't it a weird story? The bass player guy was, um, like, you guys were in the bus fighting over who gets to sit in the front of the bus. Do I have that yeah, right? Yeah, ish. It was, um... This is one of those Kirk, weird... Yeah. Him and Kirk were uh, drawing stars about who was going to sleep in a specific bunk. And Cliff pulled the longest straw and went in that bunk. And when the bus... You mean that was supposed to be the good bunk? Yeah, that was supposed to be the good bunk. Wow. And um, we were driving from Stockholm to Copenhagen... And we were all asleep in the bus, and all of a sudden we hit a patch of ice, and the whole bus just started flipping over. Wow. Everybody else walked out, and it's just like, where's Cliff? Oh, he's probably still in there sleeping. That was the kind of guy he was. He could sleep through anything. Right, right. And he's still in there sleeping. So we all went to the hospital and got treated for, you know, broken toes and all this type of stuff. And the guy comes in and says, your bass player's dead. Oh, man. I was like, pretty heavy, pretty yeah. weird. And you, you were really tight with the guy, right? Yeah, we lived... Lived with him every day for four or five years. Did the band almost break up? No. Nah. The only thing we had to do at the time was just battle on. You know, we'd always been about fighting against everything that came our way and stuff like that. And all the stuff we were talking about earlier, we had to... What year was to, that? That was 86, 10 years ago. So that was like before you got really big and famous. It was on Master Puppets. It was right after we came off the Aussie tour. So it was kind of when we were still getting it together. Wow. Man. Yeah. That's kind of freaky, though, for yeah. the guy who didn't get the bunk. And that really sucks, because yep. think of the life he would have had if he just, you know, lived. Yeah. He, he never got to see it. the big success. He would have been digging it. Hey, what are you well, bumming you know, everyone out for? <laughs> yeah, you brought yeah. it up. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe it was a mistake. <laughs> All right. But, you know, the did first you know that about the band? Yes. You did? Mm -hmm. hmm, Lars tells you everything, huh? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but the first time I heard that story, right, was when Kirk told it to MTV. So we were sitting watching MTV a couple of years ago when they'd done a special on us. And it was just like he told that story for the first time. I got kind of misty-eyed. Yeah. They never told it to me. It was pretty heavy. Oh. So enough of that. Jesus Christ. Couldn't you just say the guy moved somewhere, like yeah. Pete How Best did you or find something? How a new bass player, yeah, right. like, to fit in? Yeah, why did you have to ruin it? Um, <laughs> Everything well, was so up and happy. I'm trying to get on a happier note. Right. Well, we mm. found a new bass player. I'm not sure he's fit in yet. but um, <laughs> <laughs> We found Jason. Uh, he was in a tin shack in Arizona this somewhere. Is, yeah. <laughs> now, the new album is called Load, and you know what the front cover of the... <laughs> this is very good, too. You see this? You see the uh, cover art? You know what that is? No. All right. <laughs> Take that's, a guess. Take an educated guess. Come on. That's semen and blood under a microscope. I was going to say, well, if I had to guess. <laughs> Whose semen is it? Is it yours? Mm -hmm. I fact, wish. <laughs> no, <laughs> you wish. It's really good looking semen. <laughs> Actually, um, Grade A semen. It's Where's Billy Joel's semen. <laughs> <laughs> Whose blood and semen is this? It's the artist. Is it really? Yeah, Andres Serrano. And he, um, and that's why the album is called Load, in fact, because you're talking about a full load. <laughs> Am I correct? I wish it was that simple, no. We you just... mean there's, much, there's more to it? <laughs> yeah. I like that. There's a whole story. No, we just like the visual, man. Yeah. And that was it. That's it. And then, therefore, it was called Load. No specific reason. I knew I would never get out of explaining that. People always think that, that the two of them are tied together, but... 
We just like the word load. One of the songs on the album was called Load as a kind of uh, working title. I see. And we just, it kind of stuck. Hmm. They might be kind of tied together a little bit. By the way, when my, uh, <laughs> when my soundtrack album comes out for my movie, it will have a close-up of duty. Oh. Believe it or not, and because it's I'm duty. because yeah, we call duty because <laughs> I'm such a fan of the group Metallica. I'm going to do a a, 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 a similar a piece of art. A yeah, tribute. a tribute. It will be under a microscope. It will actually be fecal matter oh. underneath a microscope. What do you think of that? Will as it, a uh, as a, uh, a doctor, se- you will like it. We'll have yeah. semen mixed in. No corn. Oh. <laughs> corn <laughs> yeah. and duty. Corn and duty. Oh. You want to take some calls? Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's on here. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the visual, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and then I will sing more Metallica. Hi, you're on the air for Lars from Metallica. Howard, this is Bob. Hi, Bob. Listen, Bob, I go to medical school with this girl. Oh, yeah, with Skylar? I bet you guys all want her, right? Mm. Dude, everybody wants her, but one, she dated OJ. Everybody in the medical oh, school. Oh, really? You dated OJ? Is that true? Mm, I can't cop to that. You really? You never, I mean, you can't, you did or you didn't? Honey, no, you never I didn't. told me that. This is like, <laughs> well, where's this guy coming from? How do you know she dated OJ? Dude, everybody in the medical school knows this. Really? Did you know that, Lars? OJ who? OJ. Can we get a, can we get a last name on that? <laughs> uh, if, if OJ gets jealous, he'll come after Lars. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. yeah. I'm next. <laughs> did you really or no? No. You didn't? No. Okay. All right, that's it. She says she didn't. Dude, what are you well, saying that for? The school says that. The guy hey, that you, you know, dated says Because you're all jealous. Mm-hmm. We, we, we heard you dated Roseanne. <laughs> ah. Thanks. Okay. Thank you God. know, they're just jealous because they come. They see limos picking her up from yeah. school. <laughs> Maybe they just assume yeah. when they see a limo, it's OJ. <laughs> it's OJ. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on their tricycles. <laughs> so what's he talking about? I don't know. I've heard that rumor myself. I don't know where that came from. Oh, you, wow. Have you ever met OJ? No, not that I'm <laughs> quite often. <laughs> quite often. Did he, <laughs> quite often. Did he ever that try to? Pretty, that was pretty convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever try to cut your head off? Oh. <laughs> yeah, actually, I told him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what would be the big deal if you dated OJ? Anyway, it's no big deal. Yeah, it was pre, yeah. right? Yeah, it's it pre. The it was before he murdered anyone. <laughs> yeah, who would know? Oh, you mean he wasn't faithful to Nicole? <laughs> yeah. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> you don't play golf, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't right. no. <laughs> Hello. Hello? What do you want? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Todd, you're on the air. Oh, hey. I'm sorry with the delay. Man, yeah, I'd like to make love to your girlfriend, up. if I may, after the show. Wow. <laughs> after she dumps me, man. Right. Uh, it's all yours. What's your track record with women? Do you, uh, do you wine and How dine them? How long do you last? What's the longest relationship you've been in? Dude, I was married, man. Oh, were you? Yeah. And you dumped a wife? Mm. Dump is probably not the right word to use. But you were We called... went our separate ways. Right. How old were you when you got married? <laughs> Young, I was uh, 22. Yeah, me too. There was there was something about a green card involved in there, but uh, and did she and did she have? Uh, is she worth <laughs> she like 40 million now? So how long? Well, I needed it? one. <laughs> and, but like when you were on the road with the band and everything, the temptations became too much, right? Is that it? We started touring when we were 18. We got all that out of our systems when we were really young. Right, and what happened though? There were too many chicks, right? I mean, no, she so wanted to become like a biker chick. She got into like Harleys and all this type of stuff. And how sorry is she that she left? Did she leave before the money came Call and in? Call and ask her. <laughs> yeah. Did she leave before the money came in? Yeah. She, she did. did. Yeah. So got she like broke now? Uh, she's probably still living off the money that I gave her. Really? And she didn't, you didn't have kids with her or anything, huh? No. Well, lucky man. Then you're free yeah. and clear. So how long did that last? About five years. Really? Four years, five years. And then when you, and then after the divorce, you just went out and banged like crazy, right? <laughs> How many chicks have you had at the same time at most? Like two or three? These guys go through the whole thing, man. Uh, it's a whole scene. Two. Two at the time? Yeah. Hey, now. Yeah, hey, Howard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having trouble hearing him, but uh, I went and saw White Zombie and Pantera. Yeah. And Pantera's lead singer was just totally bad mouthing Metallica. They're jealous. He's such oh, a winner. He called you a bunch of sellouts and bitches after right. all. This is coming from a guy who died for three minutes. I mean, let's not be too. Well, oh, wait a second, no, though. But, I, but you know what? Well, well, who is this guy? Oh, wait, Why is he talking about Metallica Pan- at his concert? Yeah, Pantera. Pantera can't, doesn't have even sold twelve albums compared to Metallica. Oh, I know. We just went and saw White Zombie, and after they said that, like a third of the crowd left. Yeah, who wants to hear that crowd? They were just like f them. Why man. would you? Why would you say that? Why, yeah, if why anything, Pantera ripped off the whole sound. Oh, I know. Uh, wait, let's just talk about, remember when not too many people know Pantera used to be a glam band. Right. When we were playing, like, down in Texas in the mid-80s. They were in spandex? They were coming to our shows hanging out, and they were all dressed up like Motley Crue and stuff. Really? Like that. So, well, there you go. They, they don't talk a lot about that in interviews, but I'm glad to bring it up once in a while. Right. Thank you. Here's another call <laughs> for Lars. so much contention in rock and roll? I don't know. There's, like, angry, angry guys. I thought radio was bad. Really? Everybody yes, you're on the air. Dave, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to ask Lars about uh, a murder conviction that might have been in his past or a manslaughter <laughs> conviction. You were convicted of manslaughter? 
I think you must be confusing me with another Lars. By the way, Maybe that's it's a Lars and Rancid. Yeah, no, that's a rumor that was going around at my bu- my buddy's school. Wait, 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 wait. By the way, that's a very cool rumor for a rock star. Not too many. <laughs> yeah. Not too many. Uh, you. <laughs> look at your Thank girlfriend. You. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's an no OJ. Oh, really? There. Yeah. Well, there was, there was this girl he was going out with. She wouldn't listen, and she was really annoying. So he had to kill her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Metallica and rumors. That's that's new. Now you've dated two murderers, OJ <laughs> and Lars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're on a roll. You Attract the wrong kind of guys. Oh, oh man. man! All right. That's a good one though. I like that one. Yeah, I like that too. That's up there with the rumors of us being like heroin addicts and stuff like that. That's. Are uh, you guys no into drugs? drugs at all? You don't even smoke re- weed. No. Really? I hate that. You don't like weed? This makes me paranoid. Really? Yeah. Hmm, you know, that's what I always thought too. <laughs> you can get over I don't know. But, uh, I found out recently it doesn't. <laughs> so you don't even drink or anything? That's not what you asked me. Oh, you, but you'll do a drink, right. So you do drink, but you don't do any weed. Yeah, right, absolutely. What is it? No, I just want to say, you should go to the phones and just plunk down any phone. Yeah. Because everybody in the world is calling to talk to Lars yeah. about every bizarre subject. You know, girls want to go out on dates with him. Yeah, they well. want to know all the, right here, he's got a girlfriend right here. But, yeah, I mean, even I, with the girlfriend here. The entire, every every line in the country, every city wants to talk to Lars. Yeah, well, of wow. course. Because <laughs> it's Metallica. It must make you feel pretty good. God damn right. Yeah, after 15 penis years, 15, 15 feet long. After you U-Haul trip. Yeah, after sleeping, <laughs> you know, it's worth it. It paid off. <laughs> right. Your music makes me angry. Good. It's it makes supposed me, to. Yeah, it makes me nuts. It's supposed to. Well, anyway, you know how thrilling it is for me to sit in the same room with you. I love you, yeah, man. Yeah, it's really cool and to be really here, great. finally. Everybody, go buy the new album, Load. There's a picture of some guy's blood and semen on the front. Oh. <laughs> it's great stuff. Will you? Uh, do you like the idea of my album uh, having duty, fecal matter, and corn? And corn? Yeah, oh. everything mixed together. Just Would like you yours? like to I take that, that idea? Or do you want to use that for your follow-up? <laughs> <laughs> if you want it, you can have we'll it. We'll talk about it later. I'd be I honored. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, I'd be honored. I, I find that kind of as a tribute. That's a tribute thing to it, right? Do a scratch and sniff thing no. on the next oh. one. All right? <laughs> It'll be wild. Oh, hey, hey, come on, man. you got to be out there. you got to find the next big thing. Well, we need some creative input. I'll call you. <laughs> Do, promise me one thing. One time the band will come in and actually play a song. Like, even if you do an acoustic version of one of the songs. You know what I mean? Sure. All right. We're coming back for the MTV Awards in about three weeks. Oh, yeah? Hey, yeah, cool. All right. Well, maybe you'll, maybe you'll, you'll honor me with a visit. List. Yeah. I mean, I know Places you guys don't to have to. See and go. I mean, you guys are worth each $80 million. I don't see why you'd have to do it. But <laughs> if, if, you just, if you just feel like doing it for fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But what do you do with all your money? Do you, like, invest? Give it to my ex-wives. No, you don't. How many ex-wives are <laughs> oh, there? Okay, you only just have kidding, one. Just one. Um, right. What do I do with my money? I don't know. Go to dinner. Really? That's pretty normal stuff. What, you just put it in the bank? Yeah. You're never going to get married, though. Does Skyler really, do you realize that he's never going to get married? I don't know. That's up to him. Are you interested? In, are you in love with Lars? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Wow. Whew. Does he tell you he's in love with you? Yes, Am I, I do. allowed to say? Yep. Yes, absolutely. You do? Come on. Is he like, I love you, baby? Now, how does it work, though? Because he's on tour. Right, how right. How often do they get to see you? I mean, you're, you're tied up with medical school. I know, I, I lived with medical students, so I know you guys are always tied up with classes and stuff, unless you're super genius. No, no, yeah, I'm pretty busy. Right. So how often do you get to even see Lars? Um, well, so you, far, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. We worked it out pretty good. That's actually what I do with my money is fly around. Ah. Really? Yeah. Make sure she can come out and hang out. Yeah, that's cool. When I got a day off, I come and hang here. I that's what I'm doing when I'm on a break right now. Oh, yeah? I got two weeks off, so that's why I'm hanging here. And what do you do? Do you go to, you go to medical school with her and stuff? <laughs> and hang out in class? <laughs> you must really be in love. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Students were honored today to be visited by Dr. Lars. <laughs> Wow. Lars will be auditing the class. Yeah, Lars will be auditing the bone, ca- uh, the bone class. <laughs> Lars, you get your own cadaver today? Yeah. <laughs> you tell that story. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Lars, would you help me with my homework? <laughs> so, does Lars ever audit classes with you? Uh, no, I'm not actually not in class anymore. So. I see. You're in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Does he come visit you at the hospital? He does He's rounds. been up there a few times. Really? Yeah. And does like, the whole place freak out and everything? Um, no, not really. really. I mean, we kind of try to stay away from mm. we'll kind of keep a low profile. We're nice. pretty good at that. <laughs> well, the biggest trick will be get him to marry you. You know, that's the tough part. I mean, Lars is not going to, you know, he always can have lots of women. So if you pull that off, I want to, I want you to write a book about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what you ought to do if you want my advice is trick him. Get yourself pregnant. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm not really ready for any of that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You go with you on the pill? No. Well, Lars, what do you wear? Rubber? <laughs> or you pull out? Lars, are you nuts? You're going to have a baby. You're going to have to support that thing. You're using the rhythm method. Are you using the rhythm? Lars. <laughs> Lars, you use the rhythm method? Is that what you do? Oh, my no. God. He's a drummer. 
What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Oh, you're... Do you get her pregnant? You know what that's going to cost you? For Christ's sake, you're worth a fortune. You're going to be shelling we're out millions. We're not married yet. What makes you think we're having sex? Oh, please. <laughs> you guys are practicing uh, birth control? But of course, aren't you? Well, no. <laughs> okay. To be quite honest, no. I actually don't really have sex. I think we've got to go now, honey. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm late. Boy, look at the time. Lars, thank you for stopping yeah, I, by. I, I, I got to get her to medical school. I hear you. Classes start soon. I hear the uh, new album is uh, number one, of course, and uh, it deserves it. Metallica, the greatest rock and roll band <laughs> in the world. And, uh, of course, uh, their new album is called Load. And thanks for coming by. And, Skylar, yeah. thank you. And uh, I'll need you to check my bone. <laughs> <laughs> she's a bone doctor, you know. No, not yet. She's a med she's a medical student. If a bone is weak and small, how does one strengthen it? Uh, I, I wish I knew. You don't know. Yeah. Mm. I, I, that kind of bone. I, I mean, I'd be a millionaire if I knew how to fix that. Well, there is a way to fix it. Uh, lips, human oh, lips. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> lips and hips. <laughs> lips and hips make it work. <laughs> what? 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 Put some weight on it. A woman's <laughs> lips usually uh, <laughs> usually help that. Uh, another thing is is to use it once in a while. Yeah, you gotta right. use it more. That's the key there. <laughs> I knew this gay doctor told me a sphincter actually no, helps that no. problem, but uh, who knows? Keep it covered. Keep it covered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, congratulations on your medical career and, of Thank course, you. landing Lars. <laughs> and Lars, of course, the band is uh, is, Thanks, man. is a monster. That was and, fun. Uh, this and, was fun. Yeah, and good luck with your again. tour and everything. Yeah, hope, uh, yeah, and bring the band and let's do yeah. some, let's, let's really cool. rock. And I'll Don't. sing. All right, and uh, we'll be back right after these words. Okay, see where you glad as it went as well as it did. That was great. It was fun. That's the most fun I've had at seven o'clock in the morning with my clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think anything uh, you're saying to your girlfriend was, was uh, out of hand? No, that's why I brought her along. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> so to get the attention off of you and off of her? No, it's fine. It was fun. Yeah, it's good. Did you have a good time too? Yeah, I had a great time. Thanks, Howard.